You probably settling for less. Fuck you with me. So what are we doing? Why are we destroying each other, yo? Like, I swear to God. So now you're trying to manipulate me. Just because you was good at hiding it. Still wasn't good at that either. So I decided whatever, whatever. Whatever. Vibe still cool. He's, he's a cool nigga. Like, he don't make it weird, but... He be trying to make it weird on his socials for I don't know what reason. Chrissy and Rock took to Instagram recently to share heartbreaking revelations regarding the status of her toxic relationship with Blueface and the decision around keeping her unborn child and whether she regrets her new journey into motherhood. She has been shedding light on the pain and doubt she is experiencing in the road to parenthood for an upcoming docuseries coming to the Zeus Network. Her relationship with Blueface was at the center of a reality show documenting the couple's complex and tumultuous relationship called Crazy in Love, and she even shared some of the behind-the-scenes action in another emotional Instagram post, revealing that her relationship with Blueface has taken another turn for the worse. I don't want nobody feeling bad for me, but I'm trying to, uh, I feel right now in a relationship. We planned something, we lost trust, but whatever. The young mom and her child's father were at the doctor's office as they saw their baby for the first time via ultrasound, and she looked just as excited as she looked scared. Cameras rolled as the young couple listened to the heartbeat of their baby for the first time. Friends and family were seen supporting the young couple who have openly displayed their toxic relationship to the world. Sheesh. I'm 20 weeks already, but when I see the face of what was growing inside of me, I had to pray the fear away of being a mommy. I'm currently documenting with at Theseus Network, and it's super overwhelming because this pregnancy was planned, but now he doesn't see a future with me anymore, Rock wrote, referencing her unborn child's feelings about moving forward with her. She even got candid, explaining the revelations she's discovered with having her newfound fame, her love life, and what she describes as the bad thoughts that come along with it all. She wrote, I don't want to be rock anymore. I don't want to be famous. I fucked up. I should have stayed in school. I made up my mind. And then when I got there, I seen the heartbeat, the face. I just trembled. She claimed that they both didn't really trust each other that much. And it reflected on how they were treating each other that when she found out she was pregnant, the only option she was thinking of was aborting. Since she was already 20 weeks pregnant, the only option she had was to keep her baby. Obviously, she was scared but got excited and fell in love when she heard the heartbeat. The pair's relationship has always been in turmoil, and they even had a spat on social media last month where it seemed that they were splitting up, but an interview with the couple on April 3rd, 2023, saw them together talking about baby names. They have always been on and off with fiery social media exchanges that have people questioning whether they are together or not. The couple appears to have a volatile relationship, with Christian claiming in an Instagram live in 2022 that Blueface had cheated and she even tweeted and seemingly ended their relationship after Blueface posted a video of himself and another woman snuggling. Just at the beginning of his year, Blueface posted some mean tweets about her calling her and her unborn child, claiming the child wasn't his to begin with. Christian responded to Blueface's tweets saying, I take you serious, you just hate me right now, I don't need the next N-word I got myself. She added that she doesn't regret anything about herself and said Blueface's rant was a low blow coming from a man that knows he loves her. She finished by saying, I get it, I'm not mad at him or about whatever, I'm grateful you love me this far. When she first realized she was going to be a mother, Rock took to Instagram to share that she was expecting and she also shared a photo of three different positive clear blue pregnancy tests via Instagram stories, writing, guess how many heartbeats? Instead of Blueface responding to his girlfriend's announcement with words of encouragement, he claimed the baby wasn't his. He said he was done with Rock and that unless she took a DNA test to prove the baby was his, then it's not his. He even went on social media and claimed that Rock had been with 10 different men the past year and that they were already over even before she announced. The drama didn't end there. He added, I know I know y'all thought she was all about me, me too, lol, but the facts are facts. Being my BM would be a blessing. She must be currently drinking while pregnant. That's a red flag. It's not a blue face baby. Despite their toxic relationship, the couple has been together since 2020, and they met when Christian was introduced as a competitor on Blueface's OnlyFans reality show, Blue Girls Club. The show saw a group of women invited to Blueface's home for a month to compete for his affection. 
Chrissian's love for Blueface was too much to the point that she got into a fist fight with his baby mama Jaden Alexis, and the fight led to the missing tooth that Blueface mocks in reference to his tweets. Rock ended up being a standout due to her aggressive demeanor and endless affection toward Blueface, and eventually she won the series getting signed to her man's label. The drama has always been there in their relationship even though it exceeds basic drama and borderline toxicity since there was a time earlier this year that Blueface called out Rock, who had by then left his label after she allegedly stole his car and was arrested in Oklahoma for drug possession. He wrote in his IG stories, she stole my car and thought she was gone to drive to Baltimore 25 HRS away. Dumbass, a thief is the worst thing you can be as a female, I'd have more respect for a prostitute. Tom bout some come bail me out. Blueface's manager Wack 100 also called her out, alleging that she stole money from his artist. He wrote alongside her mugshot, this bozo deserves all that she has coming to her, broke into the house again, stole thousands, stole the G-Wagon as we found out not knowing it was her 1,700 miles away got caught. Blueface then shared screenshots of text conversations with Rock where he explained that he didn't know it was her who had broken into his home and taken the car until he saw she had allegedly written, I love blue, in blood on his wall and even went ahead and signed it. In a video call from jail that was shared with No Jumper and DJ Academics, Rock said that she had been tweaking before her arrest and that she was using the time she had to really heal. She told her fans that as much as she tells them stuff about her, she doesn't tell everything and that she has stuff she needs to deal with. Rock loved Blueface so much that she got him tattooed on her neck. But weirdly enough, a few days later, she got into a fight with the rapper's family. Blueface's mother, Carlissa Saffold, delivered a message while her face appeared to be swollen, saying, All I know is my son will never bring that person around my family ever again in life, and that's all that matters. Carry on, before adding that she will never forgive Rock. Christian said in a video shared by Blueface that things got to the point where his family left her no choice but to become violent. It's also evident that not only does Rock throw punches, so does her baby daddy. During an Instagram Live, she said Blueface put his hands on her, and she appeared to have a bruised face while she emotionally detailed what allegedly happened. Rock explained he beat her because she was texting another man and that things took a turn for the worst when she attempted to exit a vehicle they were both riding in. He gonna pull me back just to hit me in my mouth because I wanted to jump out the car, she added. You're too comfortable and keep hitting me in my face. Regardless of their situationship, fans had previously been led to believe that the two had gotten married after Blueface and Rock dropped a music video for their new collaborative track, Dear Rock, in January in which the two got married. As reported by TMZ, the couple visited a wedding chapel, but it looks like they were simply shooting a video for the song. So to clarify issues, they didn't get married, it was all for a music video, and it features Chrissian wearing a white lace accented gown, holding hands with Blueface, as the pair appear to exchange vows in front of an altar. She was spotted shopping for wedding dresses in downtown Los Angeles ahead of the video shoot. When Rock was asked if she wanted a boy or girl, she replied by saying that she'd like one of each. Both, I hope it's twins or something, she said. I'm the 11th out of 12 siblings. I like kids. I like a big family. Hope things work out with her baby daddy and she can get in a good state mentally. A fan on Twitter said, Rock, you're destroying yourself. You know that men don't care about you. That man cheated on you multiple times. He told you he don't want the baby. He even tried to pay a 50K to leave him. What man do that to the woman he loves? Leave him. He's no good. Another said, Everything I know about Blueface and Chrissy and Rock is against my will. Anyway, let's not forget that this video is based on theories and my opinions and should not be considered facts. That's it for this video. Bye.